Hey guys, this review we're going to be looking at a saddle that was very highly anticipated. I have in front of me here the Trophy Line Ambush Pro. This is one of two models that Trophy Line offers. The, the Ambush Light is made of a mesh, whereas the body of this is, is a fabric material. Trophy Line was the last commercial saddle manufacturer. Uh, I think they went out of business about 2007, 2008, and, and until Arrow Hunter jumped into the game, uh, I think that was around 2012, 2013 with the Arrow Hunter Evolution, this had been the last commercially produced uh, saddle. And so they've, they've reintroduced their, their saddle. I just want to go over a couple of the features with you, give you some of my first impressions. I'll be honest with you, I've only had a few hunts with this this season because I got it um, on a Black Friday sale, so a couple hangs with it in December and that's been it. But I'll give you some of my initial thoughts, things you might want to be aware of if you're considering purchasing the Trophy Line Ambush or Light or Ambush Pro. Okay, so here, here's the body of the saddle. First thing. I like about the, the Ambush Pro is just the camel pattern. It's mossy with bottom land. It looks fantastic. The construction of this saddle is, is very, very good. There's no doubt that it is robust. It has thicker webbing uh, along the waist belt than some of the other brands. The Molly is probably, I'm going to guess, an inch and a half, uh, maybe an inch and three quarters. So it's a, it's a little bit taller than, than what's common on maybe the Arrow Hunter or the Mantis. So that's kind of nice. And it's very firm. The Molly webbing is just done well. It's open, but it's stiff, easy to get things through. Fantastic. There's two, two rows of it. The other thing that's neat about the Trophy line, I think I paid, you know, I think that retail for this is like 170 bucks for the Ambush Pro model, and it comes with two pouches. You don't get any kind of a deal like that anywhere else in the saddle hunting world. One pouch is kind of more of a cylinder shape, kind of tall, but it, man, it's, it's large. You could fit a lot in there. Um, I mean, I've got both my hands in there. There's plenty of room to spare. It just has a single traditional molly attachment. I think you can you can see the bottom of it right there. But the other one is is a square pouch. It has two small mesh pockets on the outside. Maybe you could put a wind checker or um, you know your pull up rope or something in there. This is a zippered closure, but opens up nice and wide, nice and wide rather. It's padded, so it's a little bit stiffer than the other pouch. Right now I just have a hunter safety system tree strap in there, but you can see there'd be plenty of room. You could easily get a tether and a lineman's belt and maybe more inside of this pouch. So super nice pouches. This one has two attachment points and um, that's a super nice option. It's very secure. Let me flip the saddle over here and I'll show the front of it to you. Here's kind of the interior. I, I don't know what this is. It almost feels like a, a suede, but it's very, very soft. This saddle has a, a, a bridge that's a little bit different than everything else in the market. You can see here's the bridge. Connects right from the top corner of the saddle. Here are your lineman's belt loops. They're very wide and, and stiff, easy to keep open. So those, those are very nicely done. My only complaint, and this is a smaller size, and I'm about a 32, 33 inch waist, is that when you put that waist belt on, those lineman belt loops are, are very far forward. Uh, I would actually prefer them a little bit farther back and more toward the outside of my hips. Now, if you're a bigger guy, they might be in the perfect spot for you. So the bridge here is, is made of two different pieces of, of webbing that lay on top of one another. They're, they're sewn in on the right side. And then on the left side, they kind of run through this tri-glide. Now, this is probably fine once you get weight on it, but if you, listen to this. It's got some noise. Uh, there's a metal bar inside of there. You could probably access it from the bottom and, and maybe take some of that out, but I don't, I don't think you're going to take a whole lot of it out. So that I can see being a problem. This is, a, I think, a 24-inch, and they advertise it as a fixed bridge. You're supposed to run the two on top of them, on top of each other. I've seen some guys uh, taking and, and running just the carabiner through this top one. 
Uh, I, I don't know that Trophy Line recommends that. There's nothing in their manual that talks about that. This saddle has fixed leg loops. They're very big leg loops. Um, you know, I have chicken legs, and so there's just a lot of slack there, and you can't adjust them. So that, I don't think, is the greatest feature in the world. I would have loved to have seen those be adjustable, but you don't have to worry about getting bulky camo pants through them. There's, there's plenty of room, probably even if you are a bigger guy. The waist belt is another floppy metal buckle. I, I'm not even sure what they call these things. I remember having them on old uh, cheap tree stand belts, but it just runs through like that. You know, once it cinches down on your waist, it's not going to make a ton of, of noise, but something else you got to try to figure out how to silence. Uh, personally, I have not liked the noise on the few hunts I've gone on, and I'm thinking about now, you probably void your warranty doing this, but I'm thinking about cutting this buckle off and putting a different style on there because that's just a no-go in the woods. Way too much noise. So that's kind of the overview of the saddle, some of its features. Let me just give you a few of my thoughts from my limited time with it. You can see I haven't even taken the tag off, so it's just been a couple hunts. Okay, so here's just my first initial impressions from my few hunts in, in the trophy line. I'm going to say that you have the ability to be pretty comfortable in any saddle that's on the market. You have to be willing to play with some things though. Adjust tether height, adjust bridge height if you can, change your feet position, change how the saddle rides on you, maybe move it higher, move it lower. Things like that have a drastic effect on comfort. This saddle has a significantly larger seat than any other saddle that I have owned. Now, that being said, I didn't find that I liked sitting in it all that much. Uh, it was very, very comfortable for leaning, but I had a little bit of fiddle factor when I was trying to, to sit for long periods of time. So, you know, if you're a leaner, I would have no qualms recommending the trophy line to you, and everybody will be different because everybody is shaped differently. But for me, it worked great for, for leaning, a little bit more work to get it dialed in for sitting, but I, I made it uh, work and was not in any kind of pain, it just took a little bit to, to get rid of some of the pressure points. But good saddle option, highly affordable, uh, I'd recommend it, it's a, a great to see another company in the industry step up to the plate let me give you a quick weight on this i'm going to guess off the top of my head that this saddle is heavier than the kestrel flex which is just about two pounds and the mantis which the large size is about 18 ounces i believe so the trophy line is coming in with the pouches actually let me ditch that hunter safety system rope because that thing's heavy with the two pouches that it comes with two pounds two pounds nine ounces with pouches let me just take the two pouches off here so that you can have a really accurate comparison to the Mantis and the Kestrel Flex. Now keep in mind that that is a size one Kestrel Flex I'm talking about that was right around two pounds and a large Mantis and this is the size one trophy line, two pounds, one ounce. Almost identical in weight to the Arrow Hunter Kestrel Flex. So very comparable. All, all the saddles on the market right now are between one pound and, and two pounds. There's just fantastic options. So hope this review is helpful. I'll try to get it on the tree and show you a little bit more uh, about how it fits and how it feels and how I found best to sit in it. Okay, saddle hunters. As I promised, I've got the Trophy Line uh, Ambush Pro in the tree with me. I wanted to just show you a few quick tips. Um, this saddle, almost more than any other that I've had, I, I have had a hard time getting comfortable in. You know, the original Kestrel took a little fiddling around. I found I had to wear it real low in order to get it to work. This one's kind of the exact opposite. It's only most comfortable for me when I have this upper band above my hip bones. 
if I try to go down lower, it's just uh, really uncomfortable for me. I find too, though, that when I have the, the belt band that high up, that I get, <laughs> these seem to run up pretty good and aren't, aren't all that comfortable. Um, that being said, it's pretty supportive if you want to lean. You know, you could you could stand here all day long in just like this and be be pretty comfortable. I am not a leaner. I don't like having all this profile so far away from the tree. I like to, to sit up close, probably with my knees at about a 110, 120 degree angle, something like that. So usually I have my knee pads on. And and this isn't bad. I, I could sit here like this. But once again, the, the center straps, the leg straps seem to ride up a little bit. And for me, there's just more comfortable options. It's not to say this isn't a bad saddle. It's, it's well manufactured. Yeah, for different body types, it may fit differently. But for me, I, I find it to be a little bit uncomfortable just with the leg straps uh, fit the way they are. Other guys may find different results. But uh, that's my quick in the, in the tree review. You know, you could let a little bit more sack out, slack out and slide it under your butt a little bit. Uh, I find if I try to slide it down too much, let me just show that to you actually. If I try to slide it down too much, then uh, I, I seem to just get some extra fabric, a little bit of hip pinch going on. Um, once again, it's not horrible, but I, I found more comfortable saddles. So that's just my two cents. You may find differently. Other than that, it's well built, it's secure. You do have to use this pear-shaped uh, carabiner to, to go around the two inch bridge, I believe it is, but that's no big deal, they're 13 bucks or something. So, hope this review's been helpful and uh, we'll bring another one to you soon.